the P17 is just loaded with a lot of really interesting elements. I mean, it's jam-packed with features and it's got a really unique construction to it. There's a lot of plastic on this gun. So kel actually uses a clamshell style construction and that forms your frame. And what that allows kel to do is they're able to mirror a lot of the elements on this gun. So you've got an ambidextrous paddle style magazine release on both sides. You've got an ambidextrous safety selector on both sides. The only thing that it doesn't have mirrored controls on is your slide stop right here. One of the unique things on this gun, the entire top of the gun reciprocates rearward. So what you'll see here is this is just a single piece of steel and these screws here, actually, it, it almost looks like it's an optic ready setup and it's not, this is just part of the construction. This is a molded polymer shell that fits over this single piece of steel and then actually kind of wraps around the breech block. What this allows the gun to do is it maintains this, you know, kind of sleek overall profile. You've got your molded in cocking serrations here. It also provides a rear face for a fully adjustable rear sight. So you've got windage and elevation adjustments here, and that matches up with a fiber optic front sight. So other features that you'll see on the outside of this gun, you've got a Picatinny accessory rail up front. You've got actually a striker status indicator here at the rear. Overall weight is less than three quarters of a pound. You got a you know, little over six and a half inches overall length. You've got a 3.8 inch barrel and you know it's only you know, 5.3 inches in overall height. So for a rimfire handgun, I mean, this thing is almost carry size. The other big piece of news for the P17, typically when we think of a rimfire handgun, we're thinking of a 10 round capacity. The P17, 17 rounds. So you have 16 rounds in the magazine and then one more in the chamber. So 17 rounds total. And this gun ships with three magazines. There are a lot of other really cool hidden features in this gun. Uh, one of them is up here at the front. The barrel is actually threaded, but it's not what we think of as a threaded barrel. Typically threaded barrels are, you know, half by 28 or 5 eighths by 24. This actually is threaded for two different end caps that ship with the P17. So this is your plain end cap and all this serves to do is to just retain the recoil spring inside the slide. But kel also includes with this gun a threaded adapter. Now that threaded adapter is actually half by 28. So if you've got a rimfire suppressor, you can mount that on the P17. Takedown is also really easy. So like we said, the gun is clear. So all you have to do is lock the slide to the rear. You've got these little Glock style takedown tabs at the front. You pull down on those tabs and then slide the gun all the way to the rear. It'll slip off of the frame rails and you've got your slide off. And then that's the frame there. And then you've got, of course, your fixed barrel there. This is all kel wants you to do to field strip the gun. So if you're looking for something compact that can kind of mimic your small concealed carry gun for range practice, the kel P17 is a really great choice. For more on firearms and shooting gear, go to AmericanRifleman.org.